What is the crack, lads? Happy Thursday. Welcome back to the channel, although by the time this goes up, it'll probably be tomorrow, which is Friday. So happy Friday. Yeah, uh, scratch that. Happy Friday. And today we're going to be taking a look at eight beasts that I think you guys should buy or check out for eFootball 2023, including one hidden gem at the end. So we're going to kick off with Jude Bellingham, 18 years of age. This guy kind of goes under the radar, I think, a little bit, because number one, he does not have a club in the game. So obviously he plays with Dortmund, they are not licensed or in the game, even as a fake team. So he does kind of go under the radar a little bit in terms of People usually use Kamavinga or uh, Tushimani or Tushimani, whatever you call him, lads. Um, and then you obviously have Barrios and Vieira and all those beasts and Kante and stuff. But this guy is incredible simply because of the new defensive awareness and the amount of actual player level cap space he has. So you can actually boost him up. We are over on eFootballDB.com and we are going to be boosting him up as much as we possibly can. Get that speed and acceleration up to around 80. We're going to be playing him as a CMF as kind of like a disruptor, like literally just kind of box to box Patrick Vieira style. We're going to have 91 tackling, 91 aggression, 85 balance and stamina, and that all important 85 defensive awareness for 96,000 GP lads. He is definitely worth a pop. Next up, we have got one of my favorite ever players. I am going to be buying this guy. In fact, I have bought him at the time of this recording when the video goes live. I will have bought Rafa Silva and put him into my squad. Now he is only on C rating this week, but lads, this guy trains up to be an absolute monster. And with the way that the game has kind of gone, um, since the eFootball 2023 update, I think even since V1.1.4, the gameplay has kind of changed a little bit. And obviously, I know some of you guys aren't enjoying it, but strictly speaking from this player's point of view, Rafa Silva, he is an absolute beast, right? He goes to a 90 overall. He's only 51,000 GP. And look at those stats. 90 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 dribbling, and 87 balance almost a perfect winger he's not like an absolute speed merchant because he has got that dribbling and he has got that balance which will have that lower center of gravity that you can just absolutely dominate on the wings or as an amf next up we have tiago silva so always before lads witty football 2022 the insistence on the defenders was on having one fast mobile versatile center half and one kind of strong ball playing in the air center half that you'd be able to challenge Ronaldo and Lewandowski and Haaland in the air. Now it's kind of switched up. It's all about defensive awareness, right? So Thiago Silva, he is on A form this week. He's got so many player skills, heading one touch pass, way to pass, low lofted pass. Those player skills are going to mean that he can actually do a lot on the ball. And then we're talking about maxing out his defensive awareness and his aggression, tackling and defensive engagement. His pace doesn't really matter. This guy is a monster for 120,000 and he kind of plays like Ruben Diaz, who's like three, four times his price. So definitely check Silva out if you are looking for a throwback veteran and wily center half to play with. Next up, we have got Newcastle's extraordinary winger, Maximin. Say Maximin, absolute beast of a player. Look at his base stats. I mean, his base stats rival some of the player of the weeks that get released. And this is without even training him up. And he has got 36 levels to go, which is huge. He's only got a, a starting rating of 76. But again, this guy is kind of going under the radar. People are usually trying to buy Neymar. They're trying to buy Sané, Coleman. Dembele, Sterling, whoever. But look at the stats, lads, that he has. He is probably, in my opinion, I will be doing a player review on him quite soon. He is probably like the perfect winger, I think, if you are looking for pick up and play winger. Like 94 balance, 95 dribbling, 96 acceleration. You can play around with the stats there and play around with the training progression on eFootballDB.com to get a different version of him. But that is the one I would recommend. Now we've got a bit of a dark horse, lads. This guy, Limer, who is a free agent as as well he is an Austrian player he's a box-to-box -box center midfielder look at the player skills he has he's got interception man marking gamesmanship sliding tackle and then he's got a cut behind and turn one touch pass pinpoint crossing and low lofted pass as a right midfielder a defensive right midfielder this guy could be a beast but as a box-to-box -box center midfielder look at these stats I definitely definitely think you guys should check this guy out obviously we have Bellingham at the start Camavinga Tushimeni um you know and then you've got Casemiro and guys like that Kante Barrios whoever 
But lads, this guy's blend of pace, power, and passing is exceptional. 80 speed, acceleration, and low pass and physical contact. 87 defensive awareness and engagement is 90. Huge tree form, unwavering form as well. Now we've got Nekunku up. Uh, he's one of the guys I featured last week. I actually did a player review on him, so check that video out. I will leave a link in the description below, but it should be my last five or six videos back. He is unbelievable. Again, another hidden gem, I think. Not so hidden now because everybody's using him, including a lot of the content creators and stuff. Um, including the man who's top of the list. He's not too hidden either, the guy that does top this list. But 170,000 GPs, 31 levels to go. And the thing I like about this guy is you can play him and train him in very, very different positions. You can turn him into like a kind of complete speed demon uh, where he's going to be on the wing, you know, and he's got the feet to do that. Or else you can make him like a really good AMF kind of roaming in Messi style or Pedri style. Next up, we have got Lamptey, who's one of the cheapest options on this list. 45 levels to train, which is incredible when you look at his acceleration and speed and their base stats obviously the big thing to upgrade here is the, his defensive awareness and that is what we're going to be pumping in probably 90 percent of the stats into is that defensive awareness but 86 acceleration straight off the rip we're going to bring that up to 90 overall and then this card is going to benefit from having so many points to be able to level up that the defensive awareness is going to be able to be maxed out at 80 with 83 tackling and 89 aggression. And that is incredible for a right back. That is only going to cost you 13,000 GP. Absolutely insane. Last but not least, we have the pick of the bunch, Adiemi unbelievable i will be doing a player review on this guy shout out to everybody who was recommending me do a, a, a player review with this guy lads this guy's stats are broken genuinely he is unbelievable super sub uh, he is the, he is eFootball 2023's Nunes. Darwin Nunes was obviously the go-to goat back in Dream Team in the early stages of Dream Team back when it launched with V1.0. This guy, I think, is even better. He's got super sub. He's got so many player skills, but look what his stats max out at, and you can train him so effectively. 42 levels. He's only 18,000 GP. So again, the comparisons between him and Nunes from eFootball 2022 are incredible. He only has standard form, but that's not to worry. This guy's going to be the super sub extraordinaire 80 balance 84 dribbling 85 finishing 90 speed and 94 acceleration for 18,000 gp lads you cannot get a better mix and variety of um stats or attributes for that unbelievable right unbelievable you could even take away some of that acceleration and uh dribbling and boost up his passing a little bit or you could put in a little bit more into speed or balance or whatever you want to do but that is it from me lads i'll be back quite soon hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to let me know if you did actually end up packing any of these guys or spinning for any of these guys or even just buying them on the gp market because there is different variations of each card out including rafa silva and of course you do also have the likes of Haaland who is a really good gem as well with lots of different versions but these guys are more kind of like not not the most used kind of like not hidden but like not the most used so check them out let me know what you guys think if you agree or disagree and let me know your recommendations in the bottom of this video in the comment section all right lads good luck